Hi guys, James with Small here at Wellenborough Golf Club and today I'm going to talk to you about learning from your mistakes. Now we're all guilty of hitting a bad shot on the golf course, turning away in disgust, frustration, anger, uh, anything in that sort of uh, ilk where we're just not happy with the outcome. And what we tend to do uh, as human nature is we'll just forget about it, we move back to the bag, we carry on, we walk down to the next shot and we tend to take it with us. We then play the next ball, we're still a bit frustrated and so on and so on. It's a bit of a vicious cycle. So by the end of this video, I will have given you some techniques and methods to help you deal with them situations a little bit better. So when you are faced with that shot that obviously doesn't go to plan, it's not a case of, you know, I can then carry it forward into the next ball. Uh, we learn from it. And like I say, I give you some methods, some techniques that will help prevent this escalating as the round continues. All right, guys, let's get stuck in and let's see what we can do. Right, learning from your mistakes. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that when we're on the golf course, we're all guilty of doing it. Like, we all hit the shot we don't like. Uh, it might be in a certain pressure situation. It might be when you're feeling a bit nervous, feeling a bit anxious, you're getting a bit, a bit of banter from, from your playing partners. It could be a number of reasons. But what we tend to do, and it's a bit human nature and it's a bit instinctive, is we hit the shot and we turn away. So I'll hit my bad shot and I hit the ball, and as soon as I hit it, I get very frustrated, I'll turn away, I'll get angry and walk back to my bag. So there's a couple of things that's wrong with that. One, we're not really giving ourselves a chance to understand what's happened. The second thing, and <laughs> very importantly, we're not following the ball. So it can be you know, a series of events, it can build up and up and up. I hit, let's say I slice one way into the trees, I haven't watched my ball goes, I've walked down there, can't find it, then have to trudge back to the tee and so on and so on. So first things first is follow your ball. As much as it's painful, uh, just keep your eye on it, follow it to its end of its direction. The second thing is, like I say, try and, try and learn from that. So I'll hit a shot for you. Uh, I'm going to hit a driver now. I've got a bit. Of, I've got a par four in front of me. I'm on the tee, my, the first hole. I'm going to hit a tee shot, and I'm just going to give you an idea on what, what I'm talking about. Right, well, there you go. So I've blasted it way right into the trees. I'm annoyed, but at the same time, I've got a feeling of what I did wrong. Okay, so the next time I pull driver out, I know that in my mind, I can feel like I can correct that by changing my movement pattern. So all I, I'll demonstrate, all I did there, I felt like I did as I come through the ball, hands were quite high, blade was open, and that forced me to tail off to the right. So what I will actively encourage next time is to try and get my hands going lower, round my body more, keep my body turning through impact and finishing down the target line a bit more as opposed to finishing sort of high and out to the right. So nothing massively technical. That's another really important message to put across now is that I don't want to be filling my head with a million thoughts of, oh, I need to get the club up here. I need to do that. I need to... No, definitely not. Just a feeling. So like I said, the feeling for me is going to be hands a bit lower, a bit more around my body. Trust that and go with it. And again, you have to trust yourself. You have to back yourself because again, it's very easy to cloud this thing. And before you know it, we're in a world of pain and it's very, very difficult to get past that. So I'll hit another one now, same shot with that difference in feeling. And let's see how I get on this time round. Okay, so that one obviously worked out better, went straight down the middle of the fairway. Just that sense of feeling obviously helped me. Now, obviously, uh, we all know that's not entirely accurate when we're out on the golf course, it doesn't just fix like that. But like I say, if you can have that sense of feeling of knowing what you did and knowing how the feeling is to sort of self-correct that when you're out on the golf course without clouding this, then 
it's a massive plus. It's a massive plus. Now that's from a technical standpoint. You know, other reasons why learning from mistakes, it can be that your routine might change. Uh, you might speed up, you might slow down depending on the shot in front of you. I could say try and make these things consistent. So if you have a routine, hopefully you do, uh, stick to it. Obviously, you're not going to be by the book. You're not a tour player, but just have a rough routine. Get something in place that you can trust and you can repeat. Because if you've got that in place, a pre-shot routine before you hit every shot, then you're going to give yourself a much better chance of executing the shot in hand as opposed to just going up there ad hoc and kind of like fingers crossed, hope for the best scenario because we know that that will fall down eventually. I've said it a few times already, but feelings are obviously key, aren't they? Feelings are big. And like I say, learning from our mistakes is important around there. And we would do this in any other sport, anything actually, any walk of life. You know, we always try and learn from our mistakes. So why don't you do it on the golf course? You know, try and control the anger, control the rage and think about it. We've all been on driving ranges. We're all on the golf courses. We know that it doesn't go to plan all the time. So it's not a game that's over like that. You're out there four plus hours. So try and make the most of it chill, calm down, collect yourself, and you will give yourself a much better chance of making scores that you're happy with. Okay, guys, there you go. Hopefully, like I say, you give yourself the tools now to learn from their mistakes. All right, again, we know it's not as simple as that, but just gives yourself a better chance. As I say, so the next time you're out there on the golf course, hopefully, fingers crossed very soon in the UK, and you're on that tee, or you've got that awkward shot that you don't fancy, you've got a long shot into a par four, whatever the situation is, and it goes wrong, which it can do, learn from it. Follow the ball, think about what happened during that series of events. It was it your routine, was it your technique? Did something change? Did you get distracted? Whatever that might be, try and learn from it. Keep that in mind so when you play your next shot from a similar scenario, you're much better equipped to execute the shot. Okay, thanks very much. If you like what you've seen, click the like button, leave a comment. It'll be interesting to see how you get on with that one and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. Thanks very much.